Hello, family. This is Wakessa coming to you. It's Wednesday uh, with a very special message. It's special because I'm still here. On Sunday, you may have heard, on Sunday, uh, I went out for my 20-mile bike ride. At about the nine-mile mark, I began to develop chest pains. And after waiting and, and trying to have them subside, um, the paramedics were called and I was taken to Cobb Hospital in Cobb County. We were riding our bicycles on the Silver Comet Trail. Five minutes after getting to the emergency room, uh, it was clear that um, this pain was a result of um, some heart something because I blacked out. I was gone. All I remember was a dream when they woke me up. When I looked down at my feet, what I saw was a defibrillator. And that's when I said, hmm. Well, I was told that I went out again and they applied the defibrillator for the second time. And then I was rushed to, and I remember this part, being rushed to the, what's called the cat lab, because there was a 100% blockage in my LAB artery. There are two arteries in your heart. And that was 100% blocked. And uh, they took me there to remove the blockage and fortunately or unfortunately, depending upon your perspective, to put in a stent. When I am then rolled to the room, that is the ICU on Sunday, it's probably now about one o'clock, then that's when I begin to discover what has happened and what's been done to me. Fortunately, I had no pain. The chest pains I had uh, that when I was bicycling were no longer there. And again, these were never sharp pains, but they were pressing pains. That was no longer there. And I have felt, I felt no pain then. And I've felt no pain since. Either from the operation or from the defibrillation that was necessary to bring me back after uh, my heart had gone into fibrillation. That is, it's not pumping blood, it's just waggling like that. And so um, I am blessed that the ancestors and the creator saw for, for me to um, come back three times and to be here with you to make this video. This happened on Sunday. On Monday, I asked to be dismissed. I chose to stay over for until Tuesday and told them that I was going home at two, on Tuesday. And um, that's with the doctor's permission or not. And, um, and so I came home yesterday to continue my recovery. Now, to be sure, I'm recovering. And I'm also feeling good. Now, feeling good is relative. I'm not picking up anything over 10 pounds. But I'm in no pain. And I can walk around. Clearly, there's more work for me to do. There's more love for me to give. And more love for me to get. It is only by the grace of the creator and the ancestors that I am here. I know that. And so I will be making some changes, some priority changes and not so many health changes because when it came to discovering why the blockage, hmm, all they could say is genetics. They wanted to say that it was, you know, cholesterol buildup. And they said that when I said, yeah, but my diet has been fruits, vegetables, and fish for 40 years. 
And I said, well, just do the lab work and see what it comes back with. And the lab work showed no heightened cholesterol level. And my diet has been fruits, vegetables, and seafood for 40 years. Not exactly a high cholesterol diet. So they resolved to say it was genetic, and but my mother and father has no issues with it. Um, and it just means that they didn't know. And it, I was okay. I mean, I'm, I'm here, so I'm appreciative of what they did. And at the same time, I'm always asking why. Because why then tells me, should I do something differently? So when I asked about a different diet, my diet is already better than the diet that they would recommend. When I asked about exercise, they said, no, once you've recovered in 30 days, then we want you back on your bicycle. And so I will continue what I've been doing. I'm really appreciative of all the prayers, all the well wishes for those who um, found out about it, for those who helped take care of Fia, who was quite afraid when they told her that I had a major heart attack. And it was a major heart attack, okay? But my heart was not, has not been weakened because of the 100% blockage happened all of a sudden. It's not been a gradual thing so that um, uh, I've been straining my heart. Um, apparently, a blood clot broke off from someplace, got into the vein, and lodged itself in the artery in my heart, the LAB artery. There may have been, I estimate, 20% um, of a buildup, and I hunched that it just got to it. I don't know that for sure. Um, nobody does. What I know for sure is that I'm thankful to the creator, the ancestors. I'm thankful to you. Um, and I appreciate the help that has been extended. I will be taking it. I don't have to pretend that I'm not, you know, feeling well or that I'm about to die in order to slow my roll, in order to reprioritize some things in my life, um, and also to um, ask for and accept some assistance. So I will be doing that, okay, as I get used to um, this foreign object that's in my artery that's in my heart. And so for the next 30 days, I will be researching what to do about mm, stents, how to get the body to not reject it without relying on Brilenta or Palax or whatever immunosuppressant um, drug. Because when I asked them how long I was going to take that, they said, well, one person said for the rest of your life, another person says for a year or two or something like, well, we will see. And, you know, if that turns out to be the case in terms of that's what my research shows, then um, I'm willing to do it. But I'm not willing to just do it without doing the research myself and, and, uh, and coming up with alternatives if, if I believe them. And, um, but, you know, for these 30 days, I have to, train my immune system to accept its brother from another mother. That is this stent. And um, that's the key thing that I need to do. Um, and, you know, so I will for the 30 days follow the protocol. But because those 30 days I'm following, taking drugs that I do not like to take and drugs that have side effects and that I think actually are toxic, I'm doubling my dose of black garlic and will be getting sunshine starting tomorrow, whether I'm rocking in my rocking chair or whether I started, um, I'm going to walk a little bit. But I'll be getting activating my melanin and also activating, um, supporting that with black garlic and other aloe melanins. Now, the reason for this, particularly given this situation in the next 30 days, is because melanin binds to toxic substances that are in our body. It binds them to protect you from them, and then it releases them. It tries to release those toxins in non-toxic dosages. And so I'll really be depending upon that feature of the melanin that's in my body and the melanin from the 
aloe melanins from the black garlic, from the blueberries, from the uh, black rice, uh, from the salt palmetto, um, and other uh, ways that I consume the aloe melanins. So this is Wakessa. Um, um, so glad to be here because truly I could have not been. And again, I dedicate myself to my people and once again to um, not only to continue to do the work that the ancestors have for me, but also to give more love and to accept more love. Medasi, everybody. For those of you who are in our Golo family, I will see you on the first and uh, Saturday and the first Monday of the month with bells and whistles on, God willing, and the creek don't rise. Take care.